The way the United States handles food safety on farms and processing plants is set to change. The Food and Drug Administration released its proposals late last week, which will allow it to regulate the growth of many fresh vegetables. Market to Markets, Mike Pearson reports. The Food and Drug Administration proposed two new food safety rules it hopes will help prevent foodborne illness. The proposed rules implement the landmark Food Safety Modernization Act, or FSMA, signed into law two years ago by President Obama. While the FDA believes the guidelines will be more precautionary than reactionary, the proposal reflects some of the most sweeping reform in food safety rules in decades. The FDA wants farmers to ensure that workers' hands are washed, irrigation water is clean, and animals are kept out of fields. Food processors and manufacturers also have new requirements that include submitting food safety plans for preventing foodborne illness and new guidelines designed to keep operations clean. If the cantaloupe in your refrigerator has this label on it, Vasta Jensen Farms label, throw it out. In a 2011 outbreak of listeria in cantaloupe that claimed 33 lives, for example, the FDA inspectors found pools of dirty water on the floor and old, dirty processing equipment at Jensen Farms in Colorado where the cantaloupes were grown. Under the new rules, companies would have to identify steps they are taking to correct problems and monitor their own progress in reports to the FDA. For the first time, FDA would be authorized to regulate foods on farms. The agency is hoping to calm producers' fears by tailoring rules only to certain fruits and vegetables that pose the greatest risk because they are generally eaten raw. The Grocery Manufacturers Association said in a statement, FSMA's implementation effort can serve as a role model for what can be achieved when the private and public sectors work together to achieve a common goal. The FDA would also be looking to ensure imported produce follows the same rules as domestic operations. The Center for Science and the Public Interest, a longtime critic of the FDA, said these proposed regulations are a sign of progress that should be welcomed by consumers and the food industry alike. Still needed are protections in the form of rules aimed at ensuring the safety of imported food, also mandated by FSMA and long overdue. The new regulations could cost businesses close to half a billion dollars a year to implement, but are expected to reduce the estimated 3,000 deaths a year from foodborne illness.